yes my people welcome to this channel and i trust we are all doing good now if you are listening to this channel and you haven't subscribed please do so you miss out on any important news update from us so i'm here again with another interesting news as usual so now uh this one is about shori he says something about tinubu that tinubu did not say that it's the yoruba's turn but the yoruba's thought he, he was saying it's their turn he said a miloko not our local he emphasized on a miloko and what does a miloko mean it means it's my turn hmm. you know so what what this mean is that it has now become a an an inheritance among the cabals. It it is something that is his right now. Is not instead of something he's supposed to fight for. Oh. Okay, so Shori, who is a human rights, he's a human rights advocate and and an AAC presidential candidate. In the 2023 elections, he said that the Yorubas mistook President Bola Amentunibu's statement for a declaration that it was their time to rule. <sighs> he also said another thing. He said those responsible for bringing Nigeria to its knees are those that hold political power. Hmm. And I feel like until they quit holding political power, then I feel like that is when Nigeria would rise up. That is when Nigeria would be itself again. Because though they are the ones advocating peace, advocating progress, they are the ones still holding it down. Just like a bottle full of crabs. You know, when one, tr um, when one crab tries to go up, the rest would bring it down. So it's it's really a pathetic state. And then he said another thing. He called on all Nigerians, regardless of tribe or religion, to take the necessary actions to save the country. Wow, national unity yet again. Please, for how many years have we been preaching national unity? For how many years? Since 1960, when the we gained independence up until now we've been advocating national unity and this thing has even caused issues because this is what caused the civil war when there was the holocaust i call it holocaust of the Igbo people yet national unity please we are tired of hearing all this we need action even our leaders that are advocating for the so-called national unity. When it's time for them to appoint ministers and people that's going to ensure they carry out their responsibilities effectively, what, what do they do? Even their cabinet members, do they portray federal character? Eh? For, for, for those of us wondering what federal character is, federal character means when there is an appropriate, when appropriate, um, tr the, the tribes are appropriately represented to ensure peace and harmony. But look at um, President Mamadou Buhari's administration. Most of his cabinets were, were northerners. And now here we are talking of national unity. Hmm. A whole 64 years, yet Nigeria is still crawling. Nigeria doesn't have a good reputation outside. We are termed as very corrupt country that, that has a high rate of insecurity. We are hardship, has a base. And where anyone can do anything as they like, without anything can just happen. Anything. He even asked another question: Is Nigeria still, is Nigeria still the giant of Africa? When we have countries like South Africa, Egypt, Algeria, in Africa, and they are prospering, 
what what are they doing differently from us that is what we have to check not saying the same narrative over and over again god will help us he also talked about his experience where he was unlawfully detained by the nigerian government for several months he stated that there is nothing new about detention that he's already used to it you know there is one thing in nigeria that when you say the truth you are in trouble so it's just better you close your mouth but when you close your mouth and fold your arms that is when things will be getting out of hand anybody that says the truth in nigeria is going to be held accountable for it now when people say nigeria is a zoo really it is a zoo i mean what can you call a country where you know that this person stole the money yet you still find a way to to maneuver the whole narrative and the person will be set free what can you call a country like that what can you call a country where about 235 students would be taken away just like that without trace why why is this happening why is this always the narrative what can you call a country that forbids truth that stands against truth equity fair play what can you call a country like that how can a country that forbids truth progress it's not possible and until we look into all these issues then i'm sorry nigeria can't move further from where it is now now even the statement made by tinubu when he was campaigning when he said emiloko is is that how we're supposed to be is this is it a personal inheritance it ought to be the people's mandate the people's choice not not it's my turn like it's my turn is is by force that is not how we're supposed to be hmm. well that's just it on the matter and may god help us may god see us through thank you so much for listening to this channel and if you haven't subscribed yet please do so you won't miss out on important news updates from us and make sure you stay safe you stay safe out there and good morning good afternoon good evening once again depending on your location bye for now